pet peeves number three. Now, I know you guys are wondering why I made separate pet peeves videos. Because I wanted them to be distinguished. My third pet peeve is something very important to men and women. More to me than anyone else because this has happened to me on more than one occasion. A lot of occasions. First pet peeve of number three is deodorant. Deodorant has failed me on multiple occasions. So I'm always worried that my deodorant is going to fail. The second part of this pet peeve of deodorant is those little stains because people have told me that I've been putting my deodorant on wrong because I'm not supposed to put it on immediately after the shower even though I feel that I should. They say that I shouldn't, especially if you're not wearing a white shirt because deodorant leaves those white marks all over your clothing. So if you're wearing anything other than white, your deodorant powder is going to show. I used to use roll-ons and um, other types of deodorant and I like aerosol spray so I always buy the aerosol spray and degrees body heat activated and this thing is supposed to protect your clothing see it has the white and black stuff on there uh, maybe it's me but <laughs> I still get them so I'm wearing a white shirt today so you won't be able to see it but apparently you're supposed to put your deodorant on after you put your clothes on so that it doesn't get all over the stuff but sometimes you don't have time for that. So when you get out of the shower when you're in a hurry, you just and, and then you get on in your clothing and go. So I'm going to tell you the three times in my life that my deodorant has failed me. And it's really, really bad when your deodorant fails you. And my uh, other people's deodorant has failed them, which is why I also brought this up. So, you know, it's, it's very good to have a deodorant that lasts. First time my deodorant felt me, I was in like middle school and I was always wearing right guard and it worked really well on my right arm. On the way home from school one day, right guard did not work on my left arm and that sucked. No. Then I got some Mitchum no. because Mitchum was very expensive and very good deodorant, which worked very no. good on my right arm, <laughs> but it didn't work on my left arm. And by this time I was in middle school still. And right guard does not have a left guard. And Mitchellum didn't hold my left arm. And this was like before Degree came out. So the only deodorants that would hold me was Mitchum at first and Sure. And then Degree came out. So I still use uh, De Degree, but I will use Sure if I have to travel because you can carry travel. And um, Sure has the small ones and Degree has the small ones. But, you know, I don't plan on doing any traveling right now because I don't have any money. But if I got to travel anywhere, I make sure I, I get deodorant that's going to work. <laughs> the last time my deodorant failed, I was in the Army, and I was at Fort Lee, and I had um, bought this off-brand Old Spice. It wasn't Old Spice itself, but it was like a generic knockoff. It had the Old Spice spell, but it didn't have the Old Spice, excuse me, Old Spice kick, which means it stayed on. So we took a shower that night. And I put the deodorant on. And my left arm was the first time that my left arm didn't wear off. And this time it was the right arm. It did the shit didn't hold. And so we're doing our calisthenics. And everybody's in there is like, what the fuck is that smell? And I'm like, I don't know. Because I didn't know it was me. <laughs> and we're all. And I was like, oh, damn it, it's me. And I mean, it stank up the whole fucking barracks. My arm was that bad. And. I'm not really proud of that fact, but, you know, you've got to tell it, tell it all. I was like, God damn, it's like, soldier, did you use deodorant? Yes, drill sergeant, I used deodorant. Well, you need to use some more. So go wash your arm and put more deodorant on. And I went back and the only deodorant I had was that same cheap ass shit. So I put the deodorant on and it lasted until we got to go and take more showers. And then it failed right before I got in the shower. I was like, Lord, man, somebody got some better deodorant. Like a spray that I can borrow. It's like, yeah, we got you. So somebody gave us the order, and I thank them very much to you. Thank you, soldier brother. And after that, I only buy two deodorants now. I only buy Shore and Degree. And I started using the women's degree, the clinical protection, too, because that shit works. And you now I don't care what anybody says. No, I don't wear secret, but if I have to, I will. But, um, yeah, the clinical protection, I might go back to using that for when I travel because it's, um, 
a solid. It's not spray. But yeah. So one time, and this is the last story relating to that, I was at a store, it will remain nameless, and there was a young lady who is of color, and her deodorant failed. And I really didn't know how to handle that. Because if my deodorant failed and I'm at a store and I'm at work, I would want somebody to tell me so that I could run to the back, splash a little water on their arms, soak them some bitches up, and put some deodorant on. And her arms was kicking, like Bruce Lee. And she was a very pretty girl. And I was like, somebody really should tell her that her arms is stinking. And I wanted to, but I didn't. I paid for my shit and I rolled out. And the whole time I kind of felt like conflicted because I was like, that's a very beautiful girl. But her arms is stinking. Her arms are kicking like Bruce Lee. I should probably go back in there and whisper it into her ear because I'm not going to embarrass her. So I asked somebody else. I, I text somebody and they said, no, do not tell her that her arms are stinking. I was like, but she has the right to know because no one wants to be at work and purposely be stinking. And I took the better side of valor and I didn't tell her. I really wanted to and I'm really sorry that I didn't, but I hope one of your coworkers had the courage, especially if you're another girl, to go and tell her that she needs to freshen up a bit. That's me playing nice. And it wasn't like, the rest of her was smelling. It was just her deodorant had failed. And deodorant does fail. It fails the best of us. And I want to know, if I'm making a fight scene, and I got to put you in a headlock, and my deodorant fails, I'm pretty sure you're not going to have that as a pleasant experience. And you're going to want to tell me, you know, and like, tapping out. Why are you tapping out? That's not part of the scene. It's like, no, dude. Your arms. You're kicking like Bruce Lee. You know, I would want to know. Because it's not just fair for you, but it would be fair for me because I don't want to stink. I don't think anybody really wants to stink. So that's my pet peeve number three. Deodorant failure. And should you tell someone when their deodorant fails? My honest opinion is, fuck yeah. Because if my deodorant fails, I want you to tell me. I don't want to be stinking. I don't want you to play it off like I'm like the freshest thing on earth. You need to tell me, hey dude, fucking deodorant smells awful. Because you're deodorant. It's bad. In closing, I have a favorite episode of G.I. Joe, which is why I'm talking about this right now. It was an episode of Arise, Serpento Arise, where Beachhead and Mainframe were in a coffin to save themselves from the collapsing tower or whatever. And uh, they were in there for like 18 hours or some shit like that, eight hours or something. They were in there for a long time. And Mainframe and Beachhead, when they finally got out, and he said, Hey, Beach here, I got to talk to you about your deodorant. He said, what are you talking about? I don't use deodorant. He said, that's what I got to talk to you about. So after that, when I joined the Army, when that happened, that was like the first thing that flashed in my head was, damn, I'm literally have become beachhead, except for I use deodorant. The shit just failed. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Havoc number two, BC and you.